train journey. Okay, good morning. Is it time to get up? Is it time to get up? Come on, let's go. Oh, time to start the day. Good morning, Holly. Yeah, let's turn the light on. There we go. I have to step over you. Oh, she can't hear a thing anyway. Well, hey, time to get up there. Little bit chilly in the van this morning when getting up so I fired up the Olympian Wave 8 that I have yeah it seems like a very large heater for a van but I'm dealing with uh, 72 square feet of van and this thing accommodates that fairly easily so I was a little bit concerned about the size of the van and the space needed to heat so I went with the eight. Maybe a little overkill, but I don't know. So far, it's been good. Well, you have to start the day with your morning routine. You were doing a little bit of it. Here it comes. <laughs> this is how she wakes herself up every morning. <laughs> Not so much today. <laughs> All right. All right, you. I need to get to the back, so I gotta step over. Be careful not to kick her in the head, right? Oh. Uh, we need more space. Build an addition, Mama. Time to go for coffee. This is the one issue with the um, propane heater that I have, the Olympian Wave 8. Uh, any propane heaters, they're always going to throw off condensation. Lots of moisture, so you're going to get this issue quite a bit. Uh, I didn't ventilate the front of the van. I didn't leave the windows open a crack, which I should have. But I had my um, Max Air fan open so it was ventilating the back out but you're still going to get condensation even with the ventilation that's the main one of the main issues at least with the propane style heaters uh, so I'm gonna seriously start considering a dry air heater and I'll start researching those and see which one is gonna fit my uh, situation the best anyway time for coffee So we stopped off to get a coffee, um, much needed. I'm a, I'm a Starbucks whore, by the way, in case you haven't already figured that out. Uh, but it was dry when I got up. It wasn't raining, overcast, of course, but uh, it at least wasn't raining. Now it's just starting to drizzle. So I think what we'll do is we'll head back underneath the bridge that I've been hanging out under to try and get some reprieve from the rain um, it gives us a dry area to uh, uh, do some work on the van so I can rip some things out and not have to worry about it getting wet by the rain so I think we're gonna head there now have you got your collar on yeah did mama put your collar on <laughs> everything changes when the collar is on doesn't it yeah
girls are snuggled up on their bed. Stay there. Don't you move. Stay out of the blanket. It's chilly out here. Pulling out stuff from my van. There's my bed frame. So that's a roll away cot that I got from Yisk. Yisk. Uh, I think, and it had a mattress on it that was, so I don't know, maybe two, three inches thick. Memory foam style. Not super comfy, but it did the trick for a while until a friend of mine offered me just a regular twin size mattress. And that's a six inch spring mattress, so much more comfy. As you can see, the chaotic mess in my van. In any case, the cot uh, just goes this way. And uh, since I put the floor in, I don't have the D-rings on the floor to secure it down, so but it just stays there. It doesn't move a lot anyway, and I'm okay with that. Uh, so that, anyway, that did the trick for now. A couple of hundred bucks. So what I'm about to do today, or at least attempt, is I'm gonna measure out, well, I've already measured the height here that I want to go, and it's gonna go underneath this support beam. Uh, and then it's going to go the length until it comes to this main, there's a main rib right here. So it's going to go that length over the wheel well. And I got this from Home Depot last night. It is, I think that's half inch or three quarter inch plywood. And that's going to make up the garage part of my van. So the rear part underneath my bed, it'll have these as walls. These are spare pieces. I may just use them to box out the wheel wells so that there's a platform in which to put my uh, lithium battery once I do finally receive it. Renogy has taken their sweet time on it. And then I'll hook it all up to my uh, solar, which will go on the roof. I've already got the solar panel, uh, two of them. So there's 200 watts of solar that I'll be able to pull from. And then once the garage is all set, and then I can get my floating bed up here, my frame, and finally get a double mattress space for me and the dogs. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I've measured all from distance here to there, height of the wheel well, uh, dimensions in the back, uh, the curvature and whatnot as, as best as I can do anyway and I've applied it to here you can just sort of see it so I freehanded the curves I took the measurement from the base of the wheel well top of the wheel well where it's a straight line and then just kind of freehanded the curvature so we'll see how that goes uh, trial and error baby time for the jigsaw Alrighty, let's have at her. Well, there's a piece out. Slow going. My gosh, it's taken a while, but there it is. Now I just have to secure it in. And then that's going to be one panel done. I'll take it and I'll use it as a template. And now I'll cut it out on this side to match on that side. Ay, ay, ay. Time consuming. Um, but it's done on that side. We're getting somewhere. Okay, so matching piece. Uh, templated it with the first one that I did. And uh, we're matching. So that secondary piece will go on the other side and I'll maybe do that tomorrow. It's been a bit of a long day. Uh, days are short still. We're getting dark early. It's might not look like it, but we're starting to lose light. So I'm going to have to put my van back together, call it a day, and pick it up again tomorrow. But it's coming. <laughs> They're both snuggled in there. They've been waiting patiently all day, so time to take them for a quick walk and then we'll pack her in. Well, always pick up after yourselves and leave the place cleaner. The 
when you got here. All clean. I think I got it all. I think all that's left is sawdust, so I think we're good. Now to find a garbage. So girls, what are, what do you say? Is it supper time? I <laughs> I think so. It's getting dark out now. Yeah. I think it's supper time. You guys have been so good, so patient. Uh-huh. <sighs> so that's one of the setbacks to building out your van when you're living in it is that you need to unpack all of this stuff, yard it right out, empty out your van, do the work, and then pack it all back in. So that's the only complaint I have about my van life at the moment. I got no other complaints whatsoever. Neither do the girls. They get some fresh air, they get to come out, and I get to do some work. At least we're under a bridge where it's dry. It did rain a little bit today. So at least we had some uh, cover and I could yard everything out and stay dry while I did some work. All right, I think I might need another coffee and then I'm gonna get you guys your supper.